What is going on guys? We are back out here creek sturgeon fishing from a kayak. Check out how clear the water is. Shallow at this creek if you're new to my channel. Come to these creeks, you fish for trout, and we sight fish for monster sturgeon. I always feel like I need to hype that up. But there's, there's nothing really hype. We sight fish for monster sturgeon in a creek. Yeah, let's get fishing. In fact, check this out. There's a golf ball behind me. Oh, free golf ball. Gotta grab that. Yeah, a Titec Titanium. Boom. Not much of a golfer, but uh, you know, that's a good way to start the day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two big trout. Two huge trout, guys. I thought, I mean, I just kind of glanced at them at first because I thought, oh, those are carp. I was like, what the? No, those are trout. Wait. Can't. Yeah, there's one down there. There's one down there. Yeah, there's one. I can see him again. I don't know if you guys can see that against the bottom. Guys, look at that. Look at that. Okay. There he is right there. You see that fish? And it'll turn around probably. Yeah, it'll turn around. That's really, really good when a sturgeon's swimming around. So this is how it's going down. We got an underwater GoPro, we're gonna throw down there and so you guys can see everything that I see. And then we have a barbless hook and a nice chunk of trout we found. That's it, nothing else, we're just going weightless. Let's throw this down there and see what happens. All right guys, so I've rigged up my underwater camera a little bit differently to hopefully make the shot steadier. And then I have on, I put on the, uh, uh, I was going to weightless at first, but I can't make the bait stay in the spot I want. So I'm going to recast this. Look at it, look at it. That is, that is a huge one. Oh, he's just missing it. Look at the sturgeon. Here he comes, here he comes. Or she, he or she. I don't really know. Oh, it's headed right for the underwater. doesn't know where it's coming from. Like, I might have to cast out there in the main current a little bit more. Got him! Got him! Got him! Guys, I was eating beef jerky. The, uh, the sturgeon was gone and I thought well I guess I'll just have to wait for it to come back I'm eating beef jerky and all of a sudden I look now the sturgeon is right in front of the camera that was crazy this is a good one wow I've been waiting for like an hour oh, he's coming this way I've been waiting for like an hour isn't that just like fishing you're sitting there nothing's happening nothing's happening you're like well I guess I'll go grab some beef jerky and then then the fish promptly swims over and eats it Just keep swimming around in circles real fast, getting tired out. Oh, oh no, shh. Dang it. Oh wait, no, 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 okay. He got me snagged on a, I thought it was off. He got me snagged around a little ledge or something up there. Oh, look at that fish. Look at that fish. Come on. Come on, come on. No, you don't. Shoot, a little too, uh, not quite tired enough yet. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. No, you don't, come this way. Come this way. Uh-oh, all tangled up in the underwater camera. Oh, 
she's getting closer. Oh wait, she snagged in the fin. Look at that, she snagged. I, I, she must have spit it out and I set the hook because it's like she snagged in the fin. Come here, you. No, you don't. Look, he's getting closer every time. Every time. A little bit closer. All right, let's get in the mud here. Let's come down this way. We're going to kind of trap this fish. Oh. oh, man. Oh, man. She's getting tired. And so am I. Oh man, the mud is getting deep. Hey, no you don't, you don't want to go down this way. I'll grab you, maybe. Nope, can't rush it. Can't rush it. Dang it. The one thing I've learned is I rushed a seven footer one time. That was a bad day. She's like, just running right into me. Hey, hey you, this is crazy. It's like she's too tired to swim away anymore. Oh, look at that fish. Should I just grab her tail? Should I just grab her tail? Oh, almost worked. Almost worked. I need to do, should I drop my rod and try to grab it with both hands? Would that be too risky? There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was a little risky. I don't recommend that, but it worked this time. I All right, guys. So my head mount camera shut off battery. Uh, it ran out of battery right as I was laying in this thing. So I'm using the the camera that's on the front of my kayak. Uh, look how big this fish is. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Uh, look at that. That is so cool. Alright, so we're going to measure this fish according to my fishing rod roughly. Very roughly. I left my other fishing rod back there. It's about to, one, two, three, four. the fifth guide down. This is like a seven foot, seven, four rod, so I'll measure that later. But look at this beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see this. Keep them in the water. Make sure they can keep breathing. That's amazing though. <laughs> this is one of the funnest ways to fish, I think. All right, let's get a release on this. Well guys, that is fabulous. That That is just like fishing. Um, I, I fished for like 45 minutes for it. It would get close to the camera and then swim away. It was like it was scared of the whole thing, which doesn't surprise me. Underwater cameras, it's so hard to get fish to bite when there's an underwater camera down there because they know like something's, something's up, something's not right. Um, but uh, so the, like 45 minutes it was down there. In fact, I reeled it up several times just to restart the GoPro, you know, so I didn't have like a 45 minute long video. I thought, you know, I'm gonna go get some beef jerky while I'm waiting because I hadn't seen the fish for a while. And I get some beef jerky right when I walk up, the sturgeon's right over top of it eating it. So anyway, that's, that's so fishing right there. Um, I love my <laughs> rod back down there. So I'm gonna have to go back, find it in the water. Um, yeah, so let's go find it. Check this out.
Hey, you. Look, a snake. A little garter snake. That is cool. <laughs> Here we are. There we go. <laughs> Some people who are new to fishing, they're like, oh my gosh, you ruined your reel with it going underwater. And that does not ruin reels, only if you have the super cheap ones. Like, if you get like a $15 Walmart one and it goes underwater, it might hurt it, might, depending on what kind of quality it is. But when you got like these Shimano Curados and stuff, this thing has been through more stress and sturgeon and everything else that you can imagine. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed. A lot of you have been asking, they're like, oh, I want to support your channel in some way. Guys, if you want to support my channel, just share this video or any one of my videos with one of your friends, and that goes a long way to uh, helping support my channel. Share it somewhere. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next adventure.